Okay guys, how are you doing? I'm Moses from Money Python. You're welcome. So in this session, we're going to cover how you can integrate the two system ability by using different technology by using API. But before we proceed, let me order the food because after this session, I'll need it to get a lunch. Okay. So I'll eat you girl and a chicken, right? That's okay. So as I've told you that in this session, I'm going to give you the bigger picture, the overview, what is actually needed when it comes to system integration and the system built by different programming language or different technology. I just give an example like you have two systems. You have hospital management system, which is built by using Python Django. And you have HR system which is built by using which is built by using PHP and you want to integrate the two systems. An easiest way is to use API, whereby on one side you will create an API and on the other side you will consume an API. For example, you want to get the data from HR system which is built by using PHP from Django, which is hospital management system. So what we'll do is on HR system, we'll create an API. Then on Django system, we'll consume the API. So that is a game. You create an API and you consume an API. No more stories when it comes to system integration. Some people tend to think that it's one of the biggest the weird thing but it's very simple okay and i have integrated the two system one is created i created one a simple web application by using php then after i created another simple web application by using python django on one side i created api on a php then from django web application i consumed an api from php web application then after on Django, I also created an API. Then I consumed, I consumed an API of Django from PHP web application. So I'm going, of course, I'm not going to teach you how to integrate the two systems by using API, but what I want you is to get the bigger picture of what is happening in the background, what is happening in the kitchen. But if you want me to teach you how to integrate the two system, please put more comments. So I'll check out how many people comment. How much do you demand this uh, skill or this knowledge? Then after I'll create an awesome content about this. So actually this is the end of this course on how you can integrate the two system. But before we close the session, let's go to check out the demo. Okay, let's go to check out the demo and then you will get an overview of what is happening. So you're welcome to the demo, guys. So as I've told you that I'll not teach system integration in this session, but actually what I'm going to do here is to show you a demonstration of system integration. The integrated system one is by PHP and the one is by Django Python, right? <clears throat> As I've told you that we are making system integration by using API, right? So this is a Django REST API framework. In short, I can say this is API in a Django web application. As you can see here, the data in database are displayed in JSON format, right? And here, this is uh, PHP. API, as you can see here, the extension is get students.php and the data are in JSON format. So we have two API. As I've told you that we'll consume API from, we'll consume Django API from PHP web application. That's first. Then the second thing, we'll consume PHP API from Django API. And that's the point of having two API. So we have API for Django web application and we have API for PHP. So we start with case number one. This is actually Django API and this is actually 
PHP web application or simple web which consume API from Django, right? Let me show you something here. This is actually the, the product list as you can see here. This is iPhone 11 Pro, the phone I'm using currently, right? And these are the other uh, phone or product information, like category, price, and all server. The second item is HP laptop. This is in Django, right? Here on PHP, you can see name is iPhone 11 Pro. The price is 99.99 USD dollars, as you can see here, the price. So this is API created in Django. And here on PHP web application, we consume the API from Django. Right, so we are done with part number one. As you can see here, the extension is a product.php, and this runs in localhost, blah, 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 blah. That's all. So the second thing is to consume PHP API, which is this one. This is actually the list, all, the list of students, okay, which contain first name, last name, uh, and the course the students is studying. And here on Django web application, we consume the information or we consume API from PHP. As here, you can see the names of the names of a student. See, first name is Moses, last name is Noel. Once we come here in PHP API, the first name is Moses, last name is Noel, cause is CSS. The first name is Anie, the last name is Marie, cause is TE. Okay, Telecom, as you can see here, the first name Anie, the last name Marie, and the course is TE, Telecom Engineering. So this is actually how you can make a system integration. As you can see here, the two systems created by two different technologies, which is PHP and Python, they exchange data. And that's all about system integration. Don't be scared. <laughs> Never worry about system integration when these terms catch a cross on your mind or on your face. So thanks, I think I'm talking too much. If you have enjoyed the session, don't forget to like, put comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye, have a nice day, bye.